Kazan is first. No. Greeting, sire. Become my apprentice. Learn to use the dark side of the force. Ooh. Just boosted water. Veru Mammo just boosted fire. Veru Mammo just boosted darkness. I'm not even unpleasant. Fazan just boosted one. Moo. Fazan just yeah. boosted two. Yeah. Fazan just boosted three. Is that a lurker? Yes. Chief. No one asked your opinion, you filthy little mob blood.
all lies. Hello everybody, happy Sunday. Welcome parrots, Stays and Veru, Jude, and all the lurkers. You're saying that you're not chemically dependent on my experience, on the experience of yours. Oh, that's, that's a, uh, pretty big insult. Pretty big insult, I don't know what to do about it. I think I'll just cancel the stream. I feel so uncomfortable right now. <laughs> oh, welcome everybody, good to see you all, hope you're doing well. Welcome, lurkers. Hope you're all doing well. We need more chemistry. Hmm. We should start adding some chemicals to the stream then. Find a way. But yeah, um, going back to probably for the final time, Polar Attack this day. We are going to try and do. Well, not try. There is no try. Do or do not. There is no try. We will complete the final three missions today. It should become a reaction stream. Oh, now you put it that way. All right, this is this is good enough. I'm I'm not changing to a reaction stream. We don't need more chemistry here. This is all good. Screw dopamine. Who needs dopamine anyway? No reaction streams here. No, no react. You, you know what? No reactions here. I I will stop reacting to anything. Uh, no more reactions to anything anymore. Just order some beakers and volumetric flasks. Here is the finale. Welcome, Ash. Here is indeed the finale. That was a very fitting. Welcome, Ash. Good to see you. Happy Sunday. Um, here is the finale, everybody. We are finishing Polar Tactics today, even if we have to go late. Unless we have to go late like six hours. Um, but I'm willing to go late to finish the game today. I'd like to start the new game, whatever it might be, uh, next Friday. And it looks like it's... It's <laughs> it's not Paul, no, it's not Paul, it's Paul. Uh, it's not Paul either, you know, none of those work. Uh, polish? No, I, I don't polish stuff either. I don't react and I don't polish anything. No polishing here, no reacting. Police? Oh, I, I could be police. I could be a grammar, grammar police sometimes. Politics? No, zero politics. Politics is banned. Politics is a bannable offense. But yes, uh, up until yesterday, Torment was winning due to some not so shady dealings going on. You know, all above board, all uh, where everyone can see some deals were made. And now Antor is winning, which is very exciting because I got the game running, ready to be played. I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready for some, uh, you know. I'm ready for some tactical combat. We haven't had any tactical combat for a while. I think tactical combat, turn-based tactical combat will <laughs> be a good change of pace. No, I'm just kidding, of course. Uh, well, uh, partially. But yes, uh, answer will be fun. Unless things change, things can easily change. If you look at the waters on Torment and Antara, there are lots of overlaps. Uh, people can still change their votes. New people can still vote. Things can change, uh, but it usually doesn't, so it's... We can save it. We can save it high confidence that I think Antara is going to win. Well, you know, you never know. Like Nebuka says, you never know. Good luck, good luck, indeed. Good luck to all the gamers, games and the gamers. Yes, follow our tactics. We are going to finish the game. I, I discovered a cheesy, with you. cheesy strategy. I'm going to tell you about it. We now have a lot of money. We have all the good stuff we can have to go for the third mission. So, um, we do have some early boosts, though. Before, in-game stuff, we do have a few, regardless, some early boosts. So, Wrath, Bad Fire, Dark Lance, Chrono, Undertale, and Scalding Hearts. There we go. Thank you for the boosts. Vero and Tazen. Um, I guess we'll just jump into the game. See what the remaining three missions are. Now, yesterday, when we finished the mission that we last finished, which was the fourth one uh, from the last one, we were told that we, we kill 
We killed the calculator or not return to the bunker at all. So what I did was I, after cleaning up my inventory, I just loaded everything from uh, from our APC. You know, all the microfusion ammo. I, I have entirely too many microfusion ammo now. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with all that. I will probably have to drop some. But I, lo I loaded everything, including all the healing supplies, uh, from the car uh, onto my inventory. So... Five out of our six characters are already carrying their max capacity, apart from Joe, who has some space. Uh, I don't know if we, if we will have any other opportunity to come back and shop and get some stuff from our cars. Even though this is uh, this is not the final mission. This is like the third from the last. There are three missions left. Uh, so even if we end up killing Calculator in this mission, it means something else will come up for the other two missions. And maybe we won't kill the calculator this mission and we will just have to move from mission to mission. So I didn't take any chances. I loaded all on my inventory. I, that might that might turn out to be a very bad idea. Your room is 28 degrees. You may disappear for a nap. Of course, we're enjoy your nap if you do. Uh, get some cool, get some chill, get some sleep. It's good. Uh, apart from that... Uh, so, I... There were two more advanced power armors for sale. Hey, JFC. Good day, good day. Hope you are doing well. Happy Sunday, JFC. Welcome. There were two more advanced power armors for sale, and I really wanted to buy them, and I didn't have any money. So I figured out... I, I tried to get creative. I tried to steal from the mechanic and the infirmary guy. Uh, stealing didn't work at all. So I, I uh, toyed around with gambling, and I found a very interesting... A uh, bug in the game. I was talking to Black Spy earlier on his stream today, and he says it was not his experience with uh, when he tried to gamble. But what happens was when you try to gamble, you know this guy has a ton of stuff. Uh, first of all, when you try to offer something, uh, he says you got to be kidding. Even though I'm not asking for anything, so you would expect this reaction to be the opposite, right? If you don't offer anything and try to ask for stuff from him. He should say you got to be kidding and stuff. Uh, so it's not working the other way. I think they programmed it backwards. Uh, how it worked for me was uh, I was asking for everything he had and just offering one script in return. And he was taking all the gambles. So I was, uh, I have very low gambling skills. So I gamble, I lose, I add that script back. I put another script here. I gamble again, I lose. So eventually I win. So. I, I took everything this guy has, and I took everything the infirmary guy has, uh, after like, I don't know, 100 clicks, 200 clicks, it took a while, but I, I got everything, which made us some money. Now we have 30,000 monies, as well as the two advanced power armors. What I am regretting a little bit is that I discovered this too late, and I by that time I had sold the Gatling minigun and all the Gatling ammo. And you cannot gamble with this guy, you cannot steal from this guy, you cannot even kill him to get his stuff. Yes, I tried. Uh, so, uh, Sunbeam Gatling Laser and um, the MEC Ghost Minigun, um, along with all the Ghost ammo, 2mm EC ammo, I won't be able to buy them because... Because this is 176,000. let us crush something into a fine paste. Welcome, Jatlers. Shale, very cool. Happy Sunday, Jet. It's good to see you. So, uh, we, won't, we won't have access to Jot just boosted these cool two. weapons, unfortunately. Jot Eilers just boosted Wasteland. Jot Eilers just boosted Chrono T. A new god in a troubled land. Very cool, Rolesley. Like. So, yeah, we won't have these. There's no way I'm able to buy these, but that's okay. We still have our four Sunbeam rifles on our four snipers. We have the prototype rifle and the... Not prototype, pulse rifle. Uh, JFC Fuller just boosted me three. So uh, with also with a ton of like six thousand or so microfusion cells, we are ready to uh, go to the Cheyenne Mountains. JFC uh, Fuller just boosted W two. And uh, I have no idea what the next two missions are going to be. I'm still JFC thinking. JFC Fuller just boosted GD. Well, it was pretty much. Uh, kinda confirmed by Baka earlier when he mentioned uh, when he asked if the place we were at was the Vault Zero but I was already guessing that we will end up at Vault Zero and I, I always thought Calculator was at Vault Zero but maybe I'm misunderstanding or it's not the case 
Uh, regardless, we are going to be starting with our three advanced power armors. We may not get any more. And our tons of uh, microfusion cells, all in our inventories, and a, a crap ton of healing items. And we are going to have the Cheyenne Mountain. And um, we'll see where we get from there. Hope you enjoy the stream. Hope you have a good time. Uh, let us jump into in the paranoid time up apparently. to the war new vaults were being constructed every day the ancient temples of war known as norad became the home for vault zero a storage place for the cryogenically frozen geniuses of the time the calculator was built to be a mixture of machine and man a gestalt of mechanical switches and human brains linked through a cybernetic interface supposedly Representing the ideal society, these brains were to govern the higher functions of the calculator, powering <laughs> its neural network. The calculator was designed to oversee the repopulation of the continent in the event of a war. We used up all the budgets. The new humanity in the ways of the old world. Now we have to use cracked marks. It was to sterilize the land, making a fresh start for the soon to be emerging citizens of Neo America. For this task, the calculator had at its disposal an army of emergency pacification robots that were designed to survive the Holocaust and surface from the ashes immediately after to begin their task. But a mechanical malfunction left the calculator damaged during the years since the bombs dropped. Mankind had to find its own ways in the darkness of the post-apocalypse. Only now is the calculator activating its robots and embarking on its mission of mass genocide. Because of hardwired programming, ah, okay. it is unable Never to adapt it. to the world that has arisen while it slumbered. The calculator will not listen to pleas or threats. It cannot be bargained with. It must be stopped. All right. Uh, so where are we even going? I have no idea. Shan mounts it's pretty far away. All right. Be ready, chat, for a million no clicks. Robots? No. What about robots? No. What about robots? No. How about these robots? They are different now. Now, but these robots? Hmm. I'm gonna go with no. Yeah, we are going to keep clicking until we reach there. Maybe we will find some special encounters on the way. Is this a good scene? A reason for the overhead world map to exist at all in this game? Well, it was it was actually mentioned in chats as trivia that it's. The overworld map was not a thing originally, it was not something the developers intended. But in the new No Mutants Allowed forums, some purist Fallout activists even, they were complaining so much. Um, one specific person in general was very loud and uh, even the developers and the writers etc. had to talk to the guy to kind of calm him down. You know, those, those were that kind of years, the early 2000s. And um, eventually, the guy was saying the lack of overhead map, overworld map, was taking too much away from the spirit of the Fallout games. Obviously, Fallout 3 and beyond was not a thing, so <laughs> I guess he would be happy with this game um, if he knew what was coming up. But uh, eventually, the developers gave, gave up and they decided to add this overworld map. Mostly due to one guy's requests. Black Tiger Gaming Actors, where do you sign up? I'm going to send you uh, a form after the stream. Filler. Alright, here we are. This is it, brother. The final push. Your squad's actions will dictate not only the future of the Brotherhood, but of the very way of the itself. Don't I play enough? From here on out, you will have to scavenge supplies on your own. If you do set foot in this bunker again, it will be because the calculator is no more. Our technicians have secured our nuclear warhead to a vehicle. You better ban me too, though. Which will be waiting for you on site. I'm a filthy casual. This warhead will be needed to crack an entrance into Vault Zero. I know it sounds like overkill, but that vault is designed to take several direct nuclear hits, and our only hope is that a precise nuclear blast directed on the door will do the job. We expect the entrance to be heavily protected, <laughs> so make sure that your squad is ready for some heavy action. 
you must ensure that the warhead stays safe until detonated. The calculator will not give us such an opportunity again. Once you activate the bomb, you should immediately seek worthy shelter. Duck and cover isn't going to cut it this time. Power armor should help to further aid your survival within the bunker. Remember, you will practically be at ground zero of the resulting nuclear explosion. Be sure to take your anti-radiation medication. It was an honor to work with you, brother. Dismissed. All right, so uh, this is mission 19. I can uh, let's keep those. Mission Wait, mission 19? It cannot be mission 19. Let me check a mission list. Call uh, out tactics mission list. This cannot be 19. This has to be 20. Uh, uh, let me count Brahmin wood 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, I made a mistake somewhere and I'm I went with the mistake, so all of these saves are mismarked. Uh, I wonder since when. Now that is a little bit of a problem. I wonder which ones are mismatched. It's, it has to be at least the last few, four or five missions. It doesn't matter. I'm not going to come back to these saves, but it's <laughs> it's so funny. I wonder when I made the initial mistake. But this is mission 20, so mission 20, 21, and 22 are the final one. No, no, there are 22 missions. All right, we have... A new carrier if we can load stuff in this thing. Bunker here that should provide shelter from the blast. Nuclear water. Carrier has arrived. Um, okay, so I guess we have to take the long way, it seems like. Yeah. Well let's let's do that. Okay. Let's make something like a basic formation start marching we are going to leave the car here for now i don't want it to get attacked um. this is the shelter okay Three terminals. Oh, uh, oh, four. What? Okay. <laughs> that confused me. Reach. So I'm not really going to be looting anything apart from things that are really useful because I I don't know if we will have an opportunity to sell or buy stuff anymore and I don't think we will even need money anymore. I mean there may be if we if we go back to a bunker if we find a shop uh, the, the only thing we may want to buy is another uh, advanced power armor. Um, uh, there's no telling it might happen. So I'm just, I'm just not going to really bother with uh, looting Committee anymore. rules 30 to 3 in favor of streamlining Vault Zero's computer backup system costs from $24 billion to $2.3 billion. We read These this cuts before. will take place immediately. Yesterday. This ruling was based on the dwindling chance for actual nuclear war taking place, along with much needed pay. Yeah, we heard this before. Good question, Dr. Jones. I would be happy to explain why we're taking the path less traveled when compared to mundane computer systems. One advantage the calculator has over normal computers is the electro Wait, these are a little different. Okay, let's listen Committee to it. Committee rules 30 to 3 in favor of streamlining Vault Zero's computer backup it ends system differently, costs though, Paris. from $24 billion to $2.3 billion. It these doesn't mention the cute haircuts. 
This ruling was based on the dwindling chance for actual nuclear war taking place, along with much-needed pay increases to senior committee members. Furthermore, the subterranean vault compartments that were designated for backup computer and life support systems will now be renovated for senior vault personnel leisure facilities. The committee has a construction agenda that must be finalized by mid-March. The new facility options are as follows. Several top quality restaurants with 10,000 square feet of cold storage, seven this smoke rooms with piano thing. bars, and two subterranean hunting grounds stocked with rare animals purchased from world-renowned zoos. All of these are feasible, but require an additional $12.4 billion, which can be acquired by, which can be acquired by, which can be acquired by. Okay, the text is different, but the, you know, there was, there's a third one, and it was written in the first terminal we found. Good question, Dr. Jones. I would be happy to explain why we're taking the path less traveled when compared to mundane computer systems. One advantage the calculator has over normal computers is the electro-organic linking terminal. Our tests conclude that the CPU can share tasks and receive data from pseudo-cryogenic stored brains that are maintained in an oxygenated tank. These brains are AGM currently farmer. that Happy of lab Sunday. rodents, but our calculations indicate well. that human brains can be preserved in the same fashion. The brains will be fed specifically formulated nutrients to sustain suspended life. In turn, they will assist the calculator CPU in vault management, including life support, food production and distribution, pacification robot protocol, and Vault Zero defenses. This neural network will also assist in Vault Zero's primary function, to initiate mankind's post-war rebirth, when outside temperature, radiation levels, and poison particle counts return to acceptable levels, Vault Zero will remotely activate the Exodus Protocol, which will initialize the integration of all vault dwellers onto the planet's surface. The brains are to be harvested from a select group of geniuses that were chosen by committee for their skills and their cute haircuts. Yeah, see, it says cute haircuts, but um, it's not written here. This is third scientist Lewis with a report on the cause for the perimeter alarm. Late last night, a heavily armed group of mutated humans attempted to force their way into the vault. I've never seen such creatures. The smallest one was over seven feet tall and must have weighed at least 400 pounds. I believe that this group has seen fighting recently. Each one was carrying enough firepower to arm a small platoon. But the real shock came when a security camera was able to get a close-up. These poor creatures are severely mutated, with the majority of their features only vaguely resembling that of human beings. I don't know if they're a product of nuclear radiation. They seem to share too many similarities with their muscle-bound frames to credit a random mutation. Their intrusion in the vault has fully woken up the calculator, and the emergency pacification protocol has been initiated. I don't believe the invading mutants were expecting to combat a behemoth, but the results were... This is the event we heard about before. So they were fighting a behemoth. It's locked. Oh. Looks difficult. Really? Come on. You are better than that, Rebecca. Wow. Okay. 159 doesn't really work. What about 199? Looks difficult. All right, that is the first lock that we were not able. That was that looked pickable, but we weren't able to. Maybe it's our way back or something.
Nice. Oh, 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 oh. I'm just taking the microfusion cells and I will probably stop taking them too at some point. Oh, really? That's fine. Guy? Down. Hmm. Great launches, okay. Uh, it should approach. Didn't have a chance to. Okay. Let's check here first. I should probably disable these mines because I'm going to have to take the nuke here through this path. But I can do that later too. Let's let's do it while we are here. Looks dangerous. Are you serious? Hundred and fifty nine, not enough. Wow. Okay. Uh, we are going to have to change our strategy then. No, 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 no. Are there more? Yes. Come on. Come on. It's 95%. What? Really? Is this bugged? Stitch level. Let's level stitch up. I wonder if we will be able to reach level, reach level 24 in this playthrough. I'd like to pick up this sniper feat on the trail before we end the game. Uh, just probably just. Wait, how do you have 366 per first aid? Dracaris. Hey! Dracaris, Draven! How are you, Draven? Good to see you. Happy Sunday. Welcome, welcome. Any more level ups? More level gas, exactly. Exactly. Uh, okay. Let's continue. Your wife has a t-shirt with that on it. Mother of all cats, really? That's so nice. Oh! <laughs> it's 
stand up. Come on. What's happening? What's happening? Why are we not able to shoot? Hello? Oh! I pressed the wrong button, that is why. Not in the garden, weeding, so knackered. Ah. Oh. <laughs> It's quite warm if 15. 15 is warm. I'm envious. Well, I hope you enjoyed the garden work. Oh, come on. I guess I have to do this more systematically rather than pressure. Come on, Metron. Oh, I was too close. No, 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 no. <laughs> you have perished. Your bones will rattle inside your armor as the insects search for carrion. If only you had another chance. He was fine. I moved. moved. <laughs> he was fine. I I just. Oh, I didn't. Did, did I not save at all? No, I must have saved. Okay. <laughs> That's completely on me. Completely on me. I. I moved him onto the trap by panic clicking. Panic spamming. Welcome, Pi. Good to see you. Happy Sunday. Well, oh, that's a nice start. Moo? Moo! Moo. It's, it's Moo Box, Pi, if you are looking for the new one. It's also in the randomizer. It's karma for having the mission save number. <laughs> exactly, exactly. You are absolutely right. Moo box. Um... Yeah, Pi, Pi sent me a new Moo sound from the game Tell Me Why. Uh, I added it to the randomizer. Also, it has its own command. Thank you for that, Pi. I appreciate it. I appreciate all the moo, moo sounds. I looked around. Uh, so I, I wanted to check the source of the sounds uh, from your wad, Pi, and I noticed you don't have your wad published. So I know we were talking about it uh, before on your stream, and you said I think you had re-enabled it. But I don't think your word, yesterday's word is published. So I couldn't find it. They, they get muted? Okay, so you don't publish them at all? I see. Well, uh, I found another video about the source of the sound. It's, it's like a toy, actually. It's like a cup. When you turn it around, it makes a moo sound. Then you do it again, another moo sound, etc. I, I wish I had that toy. Yeah. Apparently in game it's referred to as Moo Box. And apparently it's an achievement. So I was able to find it since it was an achievement. Because 30 plus will also enough to destroy one mine. I mean, I'm trying to preserve my ammo by 
having one person shoot at it. But then sometimes he misses 10 times in a row, so... Who cares? I have like 7,000 microfusion cells now. Oh, there's a crate there. It's a crate! Oh, hi. It'll be great! So freaking annoying with those. Yeah, I know. I know. It's, it's really annoying. Your team is missing either Death Glow or Riddick. Pretty <laughs> special death with my playstyle. <laughs> Joe Carlos instead of a boob. Did I not disarm it? What? Dude, I just disarmed it. What are you talking about? The claimer was already disarmed. Hello? Riddick was like the one reason. What do you mean? There's there's a Riddick character? For real? What is happening right now? Towards the end of the game, we are having more and more bugs. Thankfully, they are minor bugs. And they are not very annoying. But I'm definitely uh, noticing an increase in the bugs. Reading can be found in a special pitch black encounter. And surprisingly, is excellent at stealth and unarmed. <laughs> well, I guess we didn't find that uh, encounter. Too bad. I've never watched Riddick. Chronicles of Riddick, that's a movie, right? Is it based on some other thing, like comics or anything? Uh, or is it the movie that is the original media? Mm. We can cut through here. Do we want to do that? I mean, at least we want to take a look, probably. Hollow on from Peach Black. I don't know what Peach Black is. So it's a movie. Fish Black is a sci-fi film, okay. Humanoid bot, what? Okay, I'm... Uh, hello? I, I hadn't heard of that. Does nothing. Okay, it's not locked then. I mean, it's not trapped. It may still be locked. Oh, look at the... I, I think I'm going to pick them up. Even though I don't have the weapon. They are worth watching. Hey, Virlax. Welcome, welcome. Hello. It goes well, Virlax. How are you doing? We are finishing this game today. We are we are finishing this today. I'm very happy with my squad. I'm very happy with my equipment. Three missions left. Having a Sunday. That's a good thing, I hope. That was an ambush. Yeah, 
you're looking a lot when you played this game, you weren't sure what you were looking at. A party-based real-time Diablo kind of thing. Uh, no. Um, so, do you know Fallout 1 and 2? The original two Fallout games. So, this is... Uh, this is, in essence, a party-based tactical combat simulation. Just like XCOM or... Uh, just like XCOM or Jagged Alliance, so this is a similar, similar kind of game. However, it's in, uh, it's in the Fallout universe. It's in Fallout universe, and it has it uses the Fallout engine, so you can play this in turn based. But I'm I'm playing in real time, which is still based on turn based. But you know, uh, you don't stop and take turns individually. It just happens simultaneously. Uh, I'm doing it because it's faster, and I'm not playing on a very high difficulty. This is normal difficulty, and you can certainly handle most of the game in real time. And it, it just goes faster that way. But there have been a couple of encounters I had to do on turn base. Whenever necessary, we switch to turn base, basically. Injured right arm. Good job. Rebecca is fully bandaged, okay. It's definitely not like Diablo, but you know, the way I play, it may have looked like it's like Diablo. <laughs> Especially if you have seen the last few missions we did. Uh, we have been kind of pretty strong and overpowering the enemy. So it may have at times felt like I can slash, but it's actually tactical combat. If you turn off turn base, base is an action RPG. I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that. So uh, it, it's not really an action RPG. You know, in action RPGs, player characters are usually very overpowered just to be able to handle hundreds of enemies. Player characters are usually super characters. In this game, it, it's not the case. And real time, it's it's like imagine Baldur's Gate. Real-time combat with tactical elements in it. I mean, it's tactical combat RPG, right? But the, the it flows in real time. In fact, it does not really flow in real time. It's it's based on turn-based combat. So characters still take their turns. So, for example, Harold, uh, let's say Mitral. When when Mitral attacks, he uses action points, and he still has to wait until the action points are filled. And those are all turn-based elements that. Fallout games all have. It's just simultaneous. Everyone is taking their actions all at once, simultaneously. Uh, and it does not feel like turn-based, but it act in reality it still is. It just flows like uh, real-time, I suppose, if that makes sense. Is it trapped? locked fail I don't care all right uh, so two stashes that wasn't the passage across Not sure which button into original sin one or two. They also let you do that. Switch from one to the other when you want. Yeah, exactly. Some RPGs do that. Kingmaker is like that. Um, Pillars of Eternity after a patch, I think, became like that. A bunch of modern RPGs give you the option to switch between real time and turn based combat. And um, this is by no means a modern game, but it does that also. Killers you have to choose at the start? Ah, okay. Oh, was it the case? Once you choose, you can't change. Was that the case? I I feel like I changed during my gameplay. Hmm. 
I'm I must be misremembering. Yoi has no turn based. Okay, I must be misremembering then. Which is not surprising. Come on. My positioning is terrible, but we survived, so I'm going to go with that. Concast stand stand. Are we dying? You kept tapping the pause button during Baldur's Gate fight for things to go slow. It's it's kind of how you play the game though. You pause the game, issue orders, then um, characters do those. Uh, in tight situations or in higher difficulties, you have to constantly micromanage your characters, or you have to constantly pause and reissue orders. Hey, Heart of Mitril, welcome. Happy Sunday. Hope you're doing well. That's the game. I, I don't know, it, it never bothered me. But then again, I, I don't play those games on very hard difficulties. Usually I can uh, handle without micromanaging too much. But, you know, uh, on Switch, some of the friends I made, some of the dis uh, streamers I discovered, they play uh, Baldur's Gate with extremely high difficulties, you know, even, even higher difficulties than the game offers uh, with the addition of mods and stuff. And they have to, they have to do everything perfectly all the time. They cannot afford any mistakes, and um, they have to constantly pause and give orders like every every second, which is crazy. It's definitely not for me, but really impressive to watch. Like Biffy does that, very Biffy. Bogu does that, Nebuka does that. There are other streamers as well. You don't even read the combat log. Yeah, true. I don't even read the combat log usually because it just flows too fast. It's not. It's not burn. It's the truth. You can't handle the truth. I can though. I can. I know it's the truth. It's just the way I play. You know, lazy and fast. If I fail, I retry. I was critically hidden the gut for 90. Not at all. Not at all. If I was, it was years ago. Not anymore, at least. Okay, come on. Shh. Hmm. It's probably low chance, but I think we can attack. Okay, exceptionally low chance. Let me reload this. Ads are coming, by the way. Uh, let's approach a little. The problem with these, they have burst big guns, so they will hurt us due to the burst gun bug. At a distance. Uh. 
not the truth of what's in the combat log. Okay, a couple of our characters can shoot. Grab a can, they try. They can approach if it's more. Oh, someone to the side. Gotta approach a bit more. Ah, oh, really, Joe? Alright, we've dealt with the welcoming committee. Uh, I think it went well. Someone is hurt. Joe is winded. Vindicators. This one has a vindicator as well. Okay. Easy enough. We are going to pause for a little bit in a minute here. here hmm. oh what all right all right let, let's pause a little bit let's get the uh, ads out of the way. If you are not a sub, you may get up to 3 minutes of ads as usual. Uh, hopefully you won't, you usually don't. And um, I appreciate your patience with it. And um, I'll see you in a little bit. In the meanwhile, we do have a few boosts. Wonder. Wasteland. On a trigger. I said back three. Not the wasteland, a Witcher 2. And game deck. Thank you for the boosts, Chatler and JFC. So so far the mission has been going swimming, I would say. We still have to go back and bring the nuclear warhead, warhead to wherever we have to take it. Nectar of the gods. Oh yeah, I read. I've been forgetting about it. The last two days, I haven't really drank much water. Probably why I woke up with a headache today. Welcome back, Tizen. Is the meeting over? 
Welcome back. Welcome back. Good to see you. Also, did you know this command? Tazen? We have this? <laughs> Someone asked for this and then never used them. But we have it, so... It was a perfect opportunity to use it. But you didn't. <laughs> I think QP asked for it. But QP doesn't love us anymore and doesn't come to the stream, so... You must switch one of your words. Which you is me. It's a stepping stone to which you three, which is great. You're considering Undertale. Would that make you a weeb? Marmalade! Marmalade! Mail! Aeomancer is still here after 11 months and has just resubscribed. Almost an ice round number. Hey, Ale, thank you so much. Welcome. It's great to see you. Thank you for the 11 months resub. It's, how are you doing, Ale? How is your Sunday? How have you been? Uh, also, I forgot to thank uh, Veru for 20 stream streak and Tazen for 120 stream streak. I'm sorry and thank you, everybody. Would that make you a VIP? I don't think so. I don't think Undertale is your regular JRPG. I think it's it's a very special game. And it's it's an amazing game that I want to play. So by all means, change change your vote if you want. You can join me in boosting Fallout Brother of Steel. It's not in the list and it won't be because it's not a PC game. I'm sorry, Jadlis. I'm sorry to let you down. I'm sorry to uh, disappoint you. But we don't play console games here. We play on the good I mean, we play on the PC games. Welcome back, everyone. If you had some ads, I appreciate you sticking around. And, um... Being here. You've been okay. After they fix your internet, cable broke on the other side of the country. It would be hilarious if it wasn't so annoying. Oh no. Yeah, I noticed you weren't around again for a while. <laughs> I thought, well, the, the internet was fixed. I wonder what's up now. <laughs> sort to hear that, Ale. I'm, I'm glad it's fixed though. Hopefully, no more cable breakages or anything. And um, you can be back with us. It is on the spreadsheet as a JRPG because it plays like a JRPG. And it's the closest genre I can think of. The closest subgenre to RPGs I can think of that Undertale fits in is JRPG. Uh, it's definitely not Japanese, but you know, JRPG does not necessarily mean made in Japan. Uh, and Undertale still is uh, kind of in JRPG style, but it's an entirely different game. In my opinion. Don't worry. I wouldn't worry about it. Only two sides of the country left for game to break. Then you have a whole compass. <laughs> I, I hope th they don't break though. RPG with some traditional Japanese elements. It's made in Japan. Or conform to all JRPG tropes. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Well, let's go back to the game. If some of that, we are running LAN cable to Antarctica. <laughs> What have you been doing in the absence of internet? Honestly, if I didn't have internet for an extended amount of time, I, I don't know how I would fill my time. It's my entertainment, it's my job, it, it's my everything, right? It's, it's, it's my life, basically. I don't know what I would do without, like, five days a week of internet. I'd probably go crazy. Bonking metal. How do you do that at this hot weather? I imagine it's even hotter over there. Building things that don't need internet. Lots of dwarf fortress. You always wear, wear a COVID mask. Really read books and for money you'd probably write books. It's winter here. Oh really? Ah I didn't realize the seasons were so different over there. Shows my lack of uh, geometry knowledge. I'm so bad at geometry 
I don't know the world. Um, there's a ladder here, but we cannot climb. Oh, there's a ladder here. A generator here. I guess we want to destroy that. Hmm. Maybe I'll take just ice. Forging in the summer is very much worse than doing it in winter. Yeah. yeah. I imagine it would be. Oh, oh! Ooh, haha! <laughs> Ice got blown up. Maybe I bring just Joe. Can we go here? What? What's going on there? What's going on there? Hey, is in JFC. Are you taking each other's breaths away? We just flirted as usual. Good. As you were. Can we pass over this wreckage? Oh, yeah, we can. Oh, did we find? No, not really. I thought maybe we found a shortcut, but I don't think we can climb now. Oh, whoa, 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 okay, okay, there is... I mean, we, we can at least... We have a vantage point. I guess I can take these down. Even with just Joe. So how are bots destroyed? I bet there are more here. There's a guy here, I see. I'll just try rushing him. Ball 69? It's rocket Answers. Oh, 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 okay. No, Joe, no, no. Oh. When you worked in financial services, had to type a lot. You know, they made so many typos. Tiners on Twitch, you think your brain just goes. Oh, anything close will do, yeah. <laughs> I used to take very uh, good care of typing correctly. At some point, I gave up. 
I, I still take care to write correctly. But you know, I, I don't worry as much anymore. Always terrible when your character star your character so fat she dies. Ha ha ha. So funny. Funniest joke ever. Maybe this is a bad idea. <laughs> well, this is definitely a bad idea. Alright, we, we will... Soul you ever. I think I will. Just bring my characters as usual rather than doing this. Or maybe I will bring all of my characters up here. Kill who I can. Does that sound max joke again? Your mom was so punctual, she showed up early to her own funeral. I don't remember. I don't remember the joke. Thirteen percent. It's a little low. What happened to healing? Fifty-four should be doable. <laughs> I don't remember. Speaking of playing too many times, maybe not too many times, but I'm considering replaying some of the games I played earlier in my streaming days. Two reasons for that. One, the games I played earlier in my streaming days are games that I absolutely love and wouldn't mind replaying. And two, you know, the audience has really grown well, you know, compared to those days. And we have so many new friends. Here, I would love to share that with uh, you all. Specifically, those games that are on my mind about replaying, and I don't know when or you know which days or on which occasions I would replay. But the, the games I have on on my mind are first Betrayal at Crondor. Forward march! Hey Zul, welcome Zul. Hello, Raiders. Hello, Echo Alpha. Zul Squad reporting for duties. Welcome, welcome. How are you doing? Thank you so much for the raid. Good to see you all. Let's give you a shout out. How goes the tactics? Goes very well. Hey, Sakura, <laughs> welcome. What's going on there? This is not for lot of tactics. You seem to be having a good time, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. As I always said, back in my day, you'd hear this song uh, played at, like, at parties, like, three or four times in a night. I've heard this song back in my day. at parties before, like, like a drum and bass rewind. No, no, no. They, they were playing the, the house track rewind. Zul is an old-timer confirmed. Zul is a music veteran. Confirmed, we know that.
Welcome, everybody. Thank you so much for the raid. That's very kind of you. Welcome, Raiders. Thanks for joining the raid and um, coming here. You went off turn base. You could wrap up prayer real fast. Ah, I hope it went well. Zul is going away tomorrow. Yeah, have, have a good trip. You, see, you were mentioning training for a job, I guess. I hope it goes well, Zul. And thank you for the kind raid. Chat, definitely check out Zul. Definitely check out Babylon Zul if you haven't. Um, he's a good friend of the channel. Uh, he streams all great retro games. He plays a lot of good games. He does a lot of community stuff. He's in the middle of a playthrough, multiplayer with Echo Alpha, of Fallout Tactics as well. Uh, I think they were doing the fifth mission today. And uh, they are taking their time. They are enjoying every bit. And, uh, you know, they have characters created by the community. It's so much fun. Definitely check him out if you are not familiar with it. And if you're not familiar with me, I'm Mitral. I play a lot of RPGs myself. And a lot of point and click adventures. Um, we are also in the middle of a uh, Fallout Tactics playthrough. Not surprisingly well, you forgot much about the storehouse. Nice, nice. I'm glad it went well. You will dash off. Of course, yes, of course. Uh, thank you so much, Echo. Thank you so much. Uh, I'll see you some other time. I, I understand why you will want to avoid spoilers. And I will try not to give any spoilers for those who don't want to stay and watch. But we are in the middle of a Fallout Tactics playthrough ourselves. We are pretty deep into the game, very uh, fur much further away than where Zul is. We are third to last mission. There are three missions left to finish, and we are definitely finishing this game today. Um, I don't, I won't tell you anymore. Uh, but if you are interested in watching, you can of course stay and watch. Otherwise, just you know, either lurk or just uh, you know, you do you, you do you. Whatever the case, if you decide to stay, I hope you enjoy the stream. I hope you enjoy your time here. So, um, you finished one mission, Zul, and then did you stop for the day? And when are you coming back to continue? Will you be back to more co-op Fallout Tactics next Sunday? Is that the plan? And, uh, yeah, let's continue. Welcome again, everybody. So, as I was saying, uh, some replays, first of all, I'm seriously considering Betrayal at Krondor. I'm seriously considering Quest for Glory series, all of it. And I'm also considering Diablo 1 and 2. Um, but I don't know when or how or what kind of occasion or stream theme I would, I would do that. Because it would mean doing other things less or not at all. If I replay the game. So I'm not fully decided. Hey Jabu, welcome. Happy Sunday. What is this horror about? <laughs> no worries, Jabu. Good to see you. I think that's all of them.
Yes, we knocked it out. Let's approach. I gotta get rid of that turret as well, it keeps shooting us rockets. But I think this is a more pressing matter. No, it got up. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Oh. Oh no, Rebecca died. Oh no. Okay, that went. Not very well. Maybe we won't approach that. Instead, we will go here. Hmm, we don't see from it. Maybe I should just take to the normal way. destroyed now just destroy this turret please okay turret is down the humans should be easier without the turret I'm back here. Nice. Alright, so uh, who leveled up? Rebecca. No, Ice leveled up. Alright, uh, let's let's just go back where we came from. I think that might have been the biggest hurdle of this mission. At least so far. I think that's the that's the gate that we have to blow up, so we just got rid of most of the defenses of that entrance. We just gotta completely clear this map and go back. Bring the nuclear warhead. Honestly, it's it's really um, kind of feeling very light, you know, light as a feather. Now that I'm not really looting anything anymore, <laughs> the demon maintenance and looting takes most of the time in this game, as in with most of the games, honestly, in, um, with similar inventory. We missed a bunch. You snuck up to get some food. No worries, Ale. No worries. Enjoy your food. Enjoy your snacks. But yeah, trying to loot everything. I, I kind of am uh, very liable to... Is that the right word? No, it's not the right word. But I, I tend to get obsessed with trying to loot as much as I can. And uh, end up spending a ton of time trying to organize weights and um, other sorts of capacities the games might have, like in Might and Magic 6. I know I was all the time trying to fit every item in the inventory. Inventories, the four inventories, perfectly to pick up all I possibly can. Enjoy your food, Hazen. So 
sweet. More super stim packs that we will never use, chat. Amazing. Anyway, what do you what do you think, Chad, about replaying some games? And which games would you say I should replay? I'm thinking if I'm going to replay a game, it must have been played at least two years ago. Not any earlier than that. I mean, any later than that. But we can go down from here. Oh, this might take us to that door that we couldn't open. Made a proposal along those lines a years ago. Yeah, I know, I know you did. You absolutely did. It's locked. Can we open it from this? Wait, is it's open though? Draconic dude just boosted Zoria. Hey. Draconic dude just boosted Solasta. Draconic dude just boosted Dink Smallwood. It's Dink Day. The Dink Day. D Day. Not to be confused with the other terrible D Day. This is the cool Dink Day. Will rehash your idea presented in a suggestion post on Discord, you may reconsider it. I mean, I haven't decided in what form I will replay games. Like, especially Critical It's games. I, I also want to replay games. For example, Gabriel Knight 1, I played the remastered. I would like to play at some point the classic version as well. Like, some of the games, uh, when I replay, I may play other versions. But the, the biggest thing to decide, the most difficult decision to make, in my opinion, is when to play those games. So, you know, I have a very strict schedule. Three games of, three, three games of critical hits, one game of Weaver requests, one day of crit, uh, Weaver requests, and two days of games I selected, once the points and clicks. So I wouldn't want to take away from critical, it's it's like the main thing. Uh, I wouldn't want to remove the viewer choice day either. So it, it would have to be from Tuesday and Wednesdays, I suppose. I guess that's not a terrible idea. Tuesday and Wednesday, instead of some new games, we could make it a month like uh, where I replay games I played rather than playing new games. That's not a horror box. Ah, I stayed. I failed. It's fine. Okay, I see you now. Now I see you. Okay, replaying critical titles. That should be on critical days. Same for legacy like series titles and champion titles. But if I replay a critical hits title, it it won't be in the critical hits system. It it will not be selected by viewers. They're here for friends and memes. You don't mind what's being played, and it's something you're actively avoiding spoilers for. Yeah, I understand. I understand. And I appreciate that.
But yeah, even if I replay a critical hits game, it wouldn't be within the critical hits system. It wouldn't be anything systematic, it wouldn't be selected by anyone but me. Unless we make it so, but the idea I have in mind isn't like that. It's the idea I have in mind is just me casually selecting a game to replay. Rather than forming a systematic way to allow games being replayed. You know your memory is so garbage you would like to lose this photos. Yeah, I understand that. I'm I'm the same. Probably worse. In all honesty. It should be part of the system, source out the problem of not knowing when to do the replay streams, as well as the concerns of taking away the regions. But, uh, you know, that brings a worry with itself, that um, different and less popular games will not be played. It feels like they may not get played. Like, there are a lot of games on the critical hits list, which I don't know about, which most people don't know about. Like, one or two people show interest, nominate it, then boost it, and it takes them a while. What if... What if, like, a group of 30 games or 20 games keeps getting replayed and replayed over and over every two years? What if we never get to new games if you make it systematic like that? Please are fine with you, maybe make room for fewer days of critical hits. I don't want to do that. Um, I... I I really want to do at least three days of critical hits, but that is an idea, of course. You are all in favor of playing more games you love. I understand, and I really appreciate that, and I'm kind of considering that it's maybe the way I try to go, try to lean more in the days to come, since some ideas to wait the same critical sites to get in swam. Yeah, but uh, what will those ideas be? Like, I'm considering, one idea I consider is um, a game can only be replayed after a certain amount of time, like two years. But whatever that certain amount of time is, it can create a cycle of that time. If Let's say it's five years. What if we find five years worth of games that we play every five years? I kind of want to move on to new games more often than I replay games. And any systematic approach will bring with it the risk of creating cycles of same games. I don't know. Lots, lots to think about. Lots to consider. Cycles are fine as long as the duration is properly fine-tuned. You, you, may, you may be right as well. I don't know what you remember from Timbleweed Park. It was X-Files with the swearing clown <laughs> dust pixels. Exactly. It is though. There isn't much else to it. I mean, you, you got the gist down. That's good enough in my opinion. Hey, Homeland Citizen. We are robots, we are robots, we are robots. <laughs> Welcome, Homeland Citizen. Good to see you. Happy Sunday. Okay, we, we seem to be at the entrance now. Alright, now we have to go all the way back and bring the nuclear warhead. <laughs> Where was the shortcut here? But yeah, whatever the system or lack of system uh, might be uh, that we decide in replaying some games I certainly want to replay a few games at some point 
even if I won't play, I won't re replay any other games. I definitely want to replay um, Quest for Glory series, Betrayal at Crondor, Diablo One and Two, maybe just Diablo One, and um, Gabriel Knight One Classic version, not not the remake. Well, it, it technically won't be a replay, I guess, because we played the 20th anniversary edition. Oh, I, I want to do Bogo those. Just must have did hey, Bogo. Say Diablo 1. Yeah, I, I was talking about how I want to replay some games that I played in the past. And Diablo 1 is one of them. Bogo. Bogo underscore Bogo just too must have too shabby as well. Too shabby as well. Damn right. What? No, I don't. Bogo underscore Bogo just must have don't know any Gabriels though. When is the council due? It's, to it's tomorrow, JFC. Thanks for the boost, Bogo, and good to see you. How is your Sunday? So, council is tomorrow, JFC. Uh, I will, at the very least, play the first chapter. But as I told you before, I did grab the whole game. We may end up playing two chapters tomorrow. Um, and after tomorrow, depending on how much I enjoy the game, I may or may not decide to play the remaining chapters uh, on Tuesday and Wednesday stream. So no promises there, but the, your redeem of Council, we will request, is tomorrow and we will most definitely take a look at the first chapter by the way council first chapter is free on steam the remaining four chapters you have to pay for but the first chapter is steam the first chapter on steam is free so if, if you are interested in that kind of point and click when i say that kind i don't actually know what kind myself it's more like i think lots of dialogue and figuring out stuff little maybe a little bit like a visual novel in some ways uh, but I, I haven't seen the game properly. I just saw the Steam page basically. And I will be playing it tomorrow. You are busy cooking. You have a breeder. What do you mean? Oh, oh. I completely misunderstood. I thought you had something like an uh, oxygen breeder uh, thing. You are just saying you are taking a break. Okay. I thought you meant like, I I wrote a scenario in my head, like a movie plot, like you went to the doctor yesterday, you were diagnosed with asthma, and now you have one of those things. <laughs> yeah, I know, I, I just misunderstood and wrote, wrote, wrote a scenario in my head, you know? Duck and cover, duck and cover won't cut it out, dude. Duck and cover won't cut it. We were warned as much. How are you, Alpi? Happy Sunday. Yes, are you going to shoot? Who we nuke him? We'll see. We'll see who deserves the nuke most. We are... <laughs> we are... We are going to try and open ourselves a way to calculate this domain. We are going towards the finale of this game. This is third from the last mission. Um, and we are supposed to open a hall. 
to where our enemy resides, I suppose. Come on. Uh. Really? Okay. Isn't there one more? SGC. Stargate Command. Is it Stargate Command? You have the faintest of memory, you have to ask Jester to be zoom as well. Yeah, no worries. I appreciate that. The only reason I have heard of SGC is in um, in one Walheim. Oh! YouTube series I watch. Uh, the guy calls his portal hub the Stargate command. I I'm not exactly sure what he means or why he calls it that, but that's what he does. And that's where I heard the term. Graphics calculators, no. <laughs> possibly, possibly. I won't be surprised if I, if we end up fighting a huge calculator who tries to um, divide us into a few pieces, then subtract us from the world before multiplying us with each other in no specific order. Nuclear bomb armed and activated. Thank you for purchasing a product from Manhattan Projects Incorporated. To hear the countdown in French, please press 1. To hear the countdown in Spanish, please press 2. To hear the countdown in Southern Drawl, please press 3. If you are listening to this message, Manhattan Projects Incorporated recommends that you run, seek shelter, and duck and cover. Have a nice day. You too. What a nice countdown, right? Run. I didn't take any red X. Uh oh. I didn't take any red X, chat. Hopefully, it'll be fine. I mean, I think we still have time. No, no. Oh, oh. Okay. Thank you. Uh, we'll just, we'll, we'll just wait. What could go wrong? Thing. See? It's fine. Move. Forehead did the job, and the way inside Vault Zero is clear. Now get in there and finish the job. I will. Sir, yes, sir. What? Well done, warrior. Oh yeah! You've reached Vault Zero's Next mission already, order. okay. From here Seamless. you must confront and destroy the calculator. Dagger Squad was deployed earlier to clear the way for you, but expect heavy resistance from the robots. Yeah. This is a winner take Reaper all side. situation. Hold on, brother. Sir, six behemoths and a large number of pacification robots have slipped in our north perimeter. It looks like the calculator is going for broke. Very well, Initiate. Bring up the tank to the north side and sound the alarm. Recall all patrols ASAP. Yes, sir. We have a situation here, brother. 
You eliminate the calculator and get home. We'll make sure that you have a home to come back to. General Decker, out! You're all screwed. Alright, uh, I am very happy with my choice. I feel... I feel validated. I'm glad I picked up all the ammo from the car. We actually didn't go back to the base in between missions. Warning. Outer perimeter breach. Outer perimeter breach. Main power generator now offline. Emergency power engaged. Toilets offline. Sections A5, A6, A9. Vault technician notified. Have a nice day. Alright, level 23. I think we will hit 24. Uh, bonus range damage is nice. More criticals is always nice. Hit the deck. I think we will pick up hit the deck. Actually. Yeah, we will pick up hit the deck. All right. Well met, warrior. We're going to mop up any resistance up here and guard your tail. Good luck taking out the calculator and don't take any unnecessary chances in there. The Wasteland's future rides on your shoulders. What do you have for me? Do I do I care to buy these for me? They are very cheap too. Hmm. I don't know. I think I will just tell sell these. Wait, do you even have money? You don't. Right, we are not buying or selling anything. Let's max out I so fifteen. On your entrails and devour your soul. Twenty for you. Eleven for you. Hundred and twenty for you. 210 for you. Enjoy your food, Tazen. Alright, looks good. Ah. They are selling other stuff as well. Yes, now this I most definitely want. Okay. I wish someone so oh, wait. Um gonna give it to Harold. Probably give this to whose perception is highest? Seven, eight. Okay, going to give this to Rebecca then. Did I check this person? Yeah. Are they attacking? I, I'm not sure if I checked everyone, and I want, I really want to see if anyone has an another advanced power armor, but I don't think anyone does. It 
sunbeam gathering there. That's ice. Alright, that's okay. Look scientific, yes! Use our science skill, seven. Thank Activated. you for activating Vault Zero Information Terminal. It is 75 degrees with 20% humidity. Information download to Pip-Boy Computer Map Directory complete. Have a nice day. All right, uh, we got the map. Where are we? Um, looks like we are here. The Voltec vertical transport device cannot be operated due to power loss. Access to lower levels is restricted till power has been restored. Yet Voltec yeah, would like to apologize for map. any inconvenience caused. So, uh, take a junction here. Also, secure personnel needing access to cryogenics and detention cells on this level must present themselves to H class robot for clearance checks. Hazardous weapon storage. Access restricted to military personnel. So we could take a look at this part. Vault detention block. Access to the cell block is not permitted to non-military personnel. All recently reactivated vault citizens are required to present themselves to a re-education center within one hour of waiting. Looks like a safer part to start with, maybe. Power and processing. Access beyond this point is strictly prohibited to all non-essential personnel. All interior defensive systems are powered by these generators. Thanks for telling me. These generators are currently offline. Voltec apologizes for any problems that may be caused and promise that all systems will be made operational as soon as possible. We are awaiting the supply of parts. We should arrive within the next 2,274 years. Very cool. Okay, let's go south. With the south information first. from the terminal, proceed into the Western Security Wing. Attempt to find a path into the cryogenics or power plant wings. Oh, hi. Um. Um. Meat bag. Can I not tell you to get up? Let's check for loot. I guess maybe I should buy the f healing kits and stuff as well. Oh, ads are coming in five minutes. Dental scanner. Let's take a look with science if we can. Does nothing. Needs key. 
Cryogenic security. Nobody offers dental anymore in the post apocalypse. I think everyone has other priorities. Locked. Can it be picked? Does nothing. Alright. Uh, Stitch is crippled. Rebecca is crippled as well. I think we have a comfortable amount of healing kits, like 10 of these, 14 of these, and a whole bunch of stim packs. So I still kind of want to buy the kits they have, but maybe do that later in the mission. Well, let's try here. These are still in hiding. As are coming, going to pause the game for a little bit. As usual, if you are not a sub, you may get up to 3 minutes of ads. I hope you don't. But if you do, I hope you stick around. Can we kill them before the ad break? See you after the ads. So do we have any boosts? We do have some boosts. Zoria. Life giving Last, water. Uh, thank you for the hydrate. And Vink. Babylon Zoal just boosted Wasteland. Of all the critical games that you wouldn't normally have played, which ones were the most and least pleasant surprises? Hmm. Babylon Zoal just boosted Undertale. Let me think about that. Witcher. No, vampire. I boosted vampire. Witcher. Babylon Zoal just boosted Fallout 3. And um, Warhammer. Wastelands. Undertale. Fallout 3. 
thank you for the boosts, Bogu, Draconic Dude, and Paradise Zool. Paradise just boosted Diablo 3. Diablo 3. Moo, moo, moo. Moo, 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 moo. How can I? Game. How can I buy? Of course I want. <laughs> I guess, what is everybody's favorite game? Is there a game that is everybody's favorite? I don't think that's possible. Oh, no. just Pathfinder. Right, Pathfinder. The righteous. Contract boost two out of five. Grim Rock. Borrow my light. Back from a kitchen. Good to know your heart type, Musa Camilla. Of course. <laughs> of course, Burger. And Grim Rock. Let me hydrate in the meanwhile. Move. Paradise just ghosted Grim Dawn. Move. And Grim Down. Thank you for the boosts, Parrots and Pie. Very much appreciated. So, to go back to JFC's question. Of all the critical games, I wouldn't otherwise have played, right? That was the wording. Of all the critical games that you wouldn't normally have played, which ones were the most and least pleasant surprises? So, surprise-wise, I think I only had good surprises. I haven't had any bad surprises. Because if, if a bad game, kind of a bad game or a problematic game was coming up, I was aware of it, so I didn't really have any bad surprises. I I had games that I didn't fully enjoy due to problems with them, uh, like Revenants or Temple of Elemental Evil, but I, I knew beforehand that they were problematic games and they still exceeded my expectations. So I can safely say without any exaggeration that I didn't really have any bad experiences with the, any of the Critical Hits games. Now, the other question, of all the games that I wouldn't normally have played, I think Gothic was the most pleasant surprise for me, because I was really uh, nervous about playing a game like Gothic with its combat system, with its uh, third-person action RPG approach. I really thought I wouldn't enjoy it, I really thought I wouldn't manage to do it, like... Uh, finish the game, learn the fighting, etc. And I, I had a great time from start to finish. Same goes with Gothic 2. Both games were really, really nice, um, pleasant surprises for me. I, I think they were the most pleasant surprises. Uh, maybe talking about least pleasant surprises, Vampire the Masquerade Redemption, I had played this game in the past, JFC, and uh, I, I remembered, you know, mediocre uh, experience with it. I had finished it in the past as well. When I played it on stream, I kind of thought I would enjoy it more, but didn't really, um, due to so many problems the game had. I, I still enjoyed it, but I thought I would enjoy it, enjoy it more. It certainly has a lot of problems with it. I guess this was maybe sort of a negative than expected experience, uh, Vampire the Masquerade Redemption. Uh, Kingdom Come Deliverance was also a very, very pleasant surprise because I was aware of the different mechanics the game employed, the unique ways it had, um, and I thought they would cause problems for my playstyle. That wasn't the case. I, I loved this game from start to finish and it became one of my uh, favorite RPGs, so this was also a very pleasant surprise as well. Welcome, Drummer. Good to see you. Did you get your police decision? Starting oh underscore drama I just boosted Scald. <laughs> if you beat Gothic, you shouldn't have any troubles with the RPGs. Maybe, I don't know. I'm really waiting for Kingdom Come Deliverance to... How are you, Drama? Good to see you. Okay, let's do your boost as well. By the way, welcome back from the ads, everybody. If you did get some ads, I appreciate you uh, sticking around here. Um, and thank you for the boosts, Drama. I hope that answers your question, JFC. Of course, you are welcome. And I completely forgot to stop the timer. So we are like seven minutes over what it should be. I may cut it uh, after we finish the game. Like, cut seven minutes of the total tally.
so there are guys here. Surprise! Ooh. Okay. Alright, loot time. Do you have any similar surprise experiences yourselves, chat? Um, a game where you wouldn't normally think about playing, but for some reason you decided to play, whether it was on stream or not. Maybe a friend recommended it, and you said, sure, why not, I'll give it a shot, and it ended up either a terrible or a great experience for you, like a pleasure, um, or... A disappointment. Here's here is Johnny. <laughs> did I check these? I think I did. Look at the crazy ammunition. They are giving us Dark Souls. You start that terrible. You are not about to lose to your friends, so you power through. Fell in love with it. Really? You know, a lot of people say if I play Dark Souls, I will actually enjoy it. Um, I just don't think that will be the case. But you know, I thought the same about mini games, and I ended up loving them. So maybe I should give it a try myself. All the porn games Parrot recommends <laughs> being great. <laughs> yeah, Parrot knows the best, of course. <laughs> I love it. Perfect. You better play 20 minutes uninstalled, only went back when you said friend got brag about finishing it. Ah, okay. So that was a pride, pride thing. Senran Kagura is a series about ninja girls fighting each other in a weird 3D beat em up fashion. Initially thought you'd not enjoy it because it felt way too fan servicey, but combat solid, to be honest, clots damage representing how much HP each enemy has is unique. Immersive way to showcase it without having bars above everyone's heads. Doesn't sound like the kind of game I would enjoy, but I'm, I'm glad you had a good time. Okay, this is entirely too much microfusion now. It's getting crazy. So it was a beat em up. Do you usually play beat em ups? No, not beat em up. You said fighting game. Where did I drop that ammo? Did I just drop it on the ground? 1150 ammo on the ground? It's it's not lootable anymore because of these corpses. Uh, way to go, Mitra. You don't have anything against beta maps. Most of them feel simple, don't last very long. Yeah, exactly. Probably the same actual Dark Souls. Remember hearing about it, thinking you had no interest, and up getting hooked. About 1200 hours, 100% and NG plus 6. Wow. Wow. That's a lot of hours. Is it just Dark Souls 1 or Dark Souls series hours? Mithral is the worst character to tank this damage.
Combo system, skill gauge, level ups, lots of playable characters, good amount of levels, which can then be replayed with each of the characters. Ah. Feel so game held back by the fact that most people won't give them a shot. Yeah, I understand. Turco beat them up, Streets of Rage 4. Did not expect to be as fun as it was. I, I heard great things about Streets of Rage. Like, I'm not a beat em up uh, player usually. I have played some in in my childhood, like the classics, you know, Cadillacs and Dinosaurs, Final Fight, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, etc. Double Dragon. I actually played a lot of beat em ups as a kid. But since then, I completely lost interest in the genre. And Streets of Rage is like a very good revival to the genre, it seems like. Because the industry wasn't also making many beat em up games. Then there came Streets of Rage, and everyone speaks highly of it. Just Dark Souls 1. It's the only one you played. Let your, let your ones look too clicky clicky. Okay. Slow paced and taxable. Hmm. Could we open this? That does nothing. I guess we have to use... Okay, let's heal first. No, not you, not you. Looks scientific. You know, chat, after making a science character and not being able to use the skill for the first 20 missions, I am happy that we finally see some use for science, even though it's minimal. Bloodborne. Oh, Dark Souls 2 is a slow game. Being locked in animations way too long made you want to grab the weapon from your character. <laughs> Better fail to pick. Bloodborne. He is a Souls-like, but different game, right? I really don't know the genre. Why Why do you say that? Uh, Ale, why are, did you not enjoy it? Not with Bloodborne. Oh, it's Sony Light. Same, a different setting. Okay. I guess I'm, I'm, I'm fully, fully full. I'm fully full, chat. I cannot even loot any microfusion cells anymore. It's okay. We don't need anything. Rebecca is in trouble, can we save her? Yes. You did not enjoy Bloodborne. You will die on this hill. You got your person. 
Well, design and lore was fantastic. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I haven't played a single Souls-like game in my life. None of the Dark Souls. No Elden Ring. Mm, what is this? It's locked. Looks difficult. Failed. Always crippled. Making noise about the Elden Ring DLC, you are saving up for more, for more tools. What kind of noises? Are, are people usually not enjoying the DLC? I, I haven't uh, watched anything about it since I haven't played the base game and honestly I'm not really interested, but I thought we were uh, people were excited about the DLC. Wow! Look at these cool ammunition. Give me power armor, though. Oh, sweet! I'll take those. Man, I shouldn't have sold that uh, ghost minigun. Come on. Clearly this is the armor locker, right? Two advanced power armors. Why? I mean, books are good, yeah. Big split in the community. Some people saying it's the best thing ever. Others just hate it. I would say DS1 would be the best try, Elden Ring is also a contender. It's easy souls if you use summons and OP weapons. People even do summons only runs, which they never have to fight boss themselves. Hmm. I don't know, that encounter design, you know, if make a couple of mistakes and die and you have to restart the whole section or the boss again. That doesn't sound very interesting to me. Hey, Tony. Welcome. Happy Sunday, Tony. How are you doing? Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Just drop these. I'm not going to use it. That's it just raises the difficulty to level up previous souls. Hmm. Most fun you had in Elder Ring was being AFK police with the whole build to one shot. <laughs> oh, that's terrible as well. If if you can chill and play AFK when you want, if you just get attacked by others. Is it like uh, it's like Dark Dark Souls where you can get what's it called invaded, right? I think that's something in Dark Souls as well. All good here. I'm glad, Tony. I'm glad you're having a good day. All right, this room now. So there was some loot here. Nothing here. Oh wait, I did not open these lockers at all. You can play offline. Ah, okay. Good if you can choose to. You can only get invaded if you summon at least one more person. Hmm. Wow. 
locked. You may just always have to face one really good PvP game. Ooh, pulse pistol. Now that is a very good pistol. But I I don't know if I What is the damage on this? 32 to 46. It's very very good. But I, I don't think I want it over my rifles. Like the, the range is 20. Let's just drop it. Who cares? Big brain farming made us for content. Oh, more books. So lots of cool loot, but ultimately you don't really need too much loot anymore at this stage in the game. Someone is heavy. I don't know, maybe at some point I will give Dark Souls a try. Since everyone most everyone speaks so highly of the game. Maybe at least give it a try, you know, not commit to finishing it. Oh! Wow, okay, I... I screwed myself. Why did I think it was safe? Uh oh. Are we going to be able to get in there? Okay, ch chat, this is a slight problem. The load lifter blocks the path. Could we enter through this door? I may have to reload. Let's first see if we can open this door. It's locked. Does nothing. I I have to reload. We have to do this, otherwise they will just keep blocking the door. This may look like a terrible strategy, and it is. Yeah. 
Wait, are we stuck anyway? No. Ooh. <laughs> okay, I shouldn't have that up. Maybe we destroy that. Retreat. Run away! Uh, kill me, trial. Rest is good. I guess I can take it a little slow. That one is knocked out. There is another Lord Lifter here. the stack there. Right, everyone is kind of in the open. No more risk of getting stuck. We should be fine. We can save. Let's get you all together. that I think. Please no more the ground is poison levels. I was like <laughs> more levels like that? Sure. <laughs> is Miyazaki the designer of Dark Souls. Creative director, lead designer. Thank you for activating Vault Zero Access Terminal. Security locks on hazardous weapon storage bay G03A05 have been removed. All guards have been informed to allow you access. Have a nice day. G03A05, where's that? G03A05. Wait. I already looted those. Huh. I picked those lacks. As you can eat them all except Dark Souls 2, which is why 
It's the black sheep of the family. Hmm. Five hundred, sure. Thanks, I needed five hundred. My confusion cells. So you can take ten. You can take ten. You can take forty. You can take ten. You gotta drop three hundred and ninety. <laughs> really? He doesn't play his own games. That's weird. Why would you make a game you wouldn't play yourself? I mean, I understand if a game was already popular, if a game genre, and you thought you could improve it. Not necessarily because you liked the game, but because you had great ideas then um, you could try to make it just to make some money but i think dark souls is kind of first of its kind improving on of course some elements that other games had but kind of creating its own thing you know even defining a genre of its own the dark souls sub sub genre of the action rpg genre so why would you create something so good if i mean how what I mean is how would you create something so good if it's not something you would yourself enjoy interesting really this terminal has unlocked the cryogenics wing All right, it good. is our hope that hidden somewhere in this area is a method of entry to the power plant proceed with caution brother no, right okay we finished this part Stitch. Joe, sure, okay. So I, I am going to buy the first aid kits and all the stuff by selling microfusion cells. I want to have those kits just in case we absolutely will need. Um, Oh, yeah. Okay, give this to Rebecca, give this to Joe. I shouldn't be selling and buying with Joe, but eh. It's like uh, free microfusion cells on the ground everywhere. Oh, no paramedic kits here. I'm sure there was one more NPC. Was it this? Read a lot of fancy books. Well, beyond his level of comprehension. He understands parts of the story. Hit the film gaps himself. Hmm. Huh. 
You you have to you have to peace today. <laughs> oh here it is. EMP traps. So we have 12 more first aid kits, but no paramedics, which is okay, so 240. It's just so difficult to click where you want to. Well, let's try. Okay, that was just one. Highlander. I was thinking to myself the other day there was a movie I wanted to watch and I couldn't remember. It was Highlander. I should rewatch Highlander. Let me destroy this, please, guys. No. Uh, what's wrong with ice? Winded. You should rewatch Highlander as well. There's a sequel? I think there are multiple sequels. Like, isn't there? Yeah, I, I thought there is Highlander 4 as well. Up to 4, I think, yeah. As a kid, so I haven't watched any of those movies for many, many years. As a kid, I remember I loved Highlander 1 and kinda enjoyed 2. I don't remember anything about 3 or 4, but I remember going to the cinema to watch Highlander 4 and uh, having kind of the same reaction you had with 2 JFC crippled <laughs> you may wish you hadn't heard of them at all if you decide to watch them. I don't know. Most people speak um, 
not very highly of uh, any Highlander movies except for the first one. This is just ammo. Okay, I don't I don't need ammo. Ancient Geezer, first one hit Sean, that's all you need. I don't remember the characters. I think this is locked. You can't reach, just, just take one more step and you can reach. Sean Connery, ah, okay, yeah. True, true, Sean Connery is in the first one. Ooh. Did I just make a mistake? Did I get overconfident? Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Yeah. Next dungeon. It's an amazing game. I I cannot play those kinds of games for extended amounts of time. But it's a great game. For certain. That's all of them. I'll, I guess I'll take the trauma pack. I never use the trauma packs. I'll take them anyway. Joe is bandaged, never mind. Right, let's refresh our ammo situation. You need 60, you need 30, you need 30. No, 60, 30. 
And we can take 260. All right, we are all completely full again. So what was here? Just some, just some healing kits, I suppose. Came through here. How could we shoot? What did we shoot through? Huh. I I don't know. Okay. This isn't a great situation. Terrible, in fact. This room could be dangerous. Let's try it like... Couldn't see. Okay, that's fine. Got back there, Joe. <laughs> oh, uh, friendly. Are you going to take her teeth? You help me pee pee? No, I don't think so, lady. Something's wrong with these people. It's locked. Hmm. Can you top them PP? No. I, I really don't want to. Does nothing. It's locked. What's wrong with you, humanoid bot? Okay, uh, sure. Uh, let's let's take his head so that we can use it with the dental scanner. I suppose is my guess. I too love butts. Or not. I too love butts. I never heard of that one. Role playing with Joe Biden. I'm not sure what you mean.
Um, give me something interesting. Mm, not very interesting. Sledge. A book. It's an accursed AF train with a randomized spooky course. Lots of dying. Railroads and catacombs. I think we should... Yeah, okay, I understand the necessity of this thing here. It has gone haywire and killed one of the citizens, right? Uh, because otherwise, the player would be required to kill one of the citizens for their heads. So they place this glitched robot. Congratulations, brother. You have now gained access to the power plant. Advance into the power plant and locate the power nodes. You must get them online before you can enter the calculator's main lair. Right. Chat, we are getting closer. So this mission we are going to go into the main lair. Next mission we will kill calculator and it will be game over. I'm guessing. Horse barrier. Do you think I should put more points in science when I level up? Ads coming up in five minutes, by the way. This looks like a trap. Is it a trap? It's not. It appears that the interior defense generators are still online. You will need to deactivate them before you can enter the inner power plant. Find these generators and take them offline, brother. Thank you, Bagu. Have a good rest of your day as well. Thanks for stopping by. Okay, Harold is bandaged. Michelle is glowing. Oh, no. 
Mitra, stop blowing. I think I, I am still making a big mistake staying here. <laughs> Wait, where am I even supposed to go? Um... Ice is radiated and encumbered. confused can I not open this I need to check the uh, the ignition objectives no we can open this scientific we took down that force field failed activated I'm not sure excellent what work brother with the security generators down you can now gain access to the power nodes victory is close victory is close chat since victory is so close, we are going to pause for the ads. I should see you in three minutes or so. If you are not a sub, uh, thank you for your patience with the ads. I shall see you in a little bit. In the meanwhile, I don't think we have boost, do we? No, we don't. Life giving water. Yes, thank you, Parrot. Why are we dancing, Ash? Is it a victory close, Vance? Because I can? Nice. Dance is good. Dance is life. I don't like dancing. I don't enjoy it at all. You don't dislike dancing, except most dances make you look like Jenna. <laughs> I know what you mean, Raisin. Yes, boosts. Oh, Ash boosts coming up. Just the usual. Ash Raffle just boosted Pathfinder. Pathfinder, Road Warden, Ash Raffle just boosted Road Warden. Ash Raffle just boosted Scald. Thank you for the boost, Ash. We are coming to the end of the month too. Uh, next week, 
but next Sunday is the last day of the month and we are going to reset the ladder, reset the season for B666 of course and we had some great rolls this month you haven't had this emote for a while, you're just abusing it oh, <laughs> yeah. it's great great emote That's that's crazy to me. Four people rolling six hundred sixty-five. Banana is tied with JFC uh, in um, good, most good with a three. Three people tied at the third place with eleven. Your average is perfect, yeah, 333. You won't take the mega rolls this time. You kept getting drunk rolls. <laughs> Welcome back everyone, if you had some ads, I appreciate you sticking around. And now we can continue this mission. I think we are getting to the end of this mission and then we are going to jump to the last mission. Put an ant, remove the batteries from this calculator once and for all. Who even uses a calculator anymore? Except this this guy. You all the time? No, that's not what I mean. But you probably have a calculator either on your phone or on your PC, you don't use a dedicated calculator tool, right? Do you? I think they are mostly obsolete now. Well, yeah, it is a calculator. It, that's not what I mean, though. N never mind, Taze, never mind. is a little bit hard. Hey Adam. Adam Siuda just boosted Mass Effect 3. Welcome Adam. Good to see you. Adam hey. Siuda just boosted Diablo 3. Diablo hype. How are you, Adam? How is your Sunday? Uh, let's order you like this. Right there, chat. The power plant is right here. Anti party power armors, yes. We have three advanced power armors. Three regular power armors.
Yeah, I guess in certain situations, like uh, schools where phones may not be allowed. That's right, I didn't think about it. Probably because I removed all memory of school from my brain. I guess there are specialized calculators as well, like scientific calculators, that uh, most, most software on phones or PC or laptops. I mean, I, I guess I'm pretty sure there are scientific calculator software on phones as well and PCs. But I, I guess maybe there are some scientific calculators that are preferred over software calculators. Teach you how to remove brain. I, I removed how to do it as well. I don't remember. I accidentally removed too much. What's happening there? I think this is all. All right, let's let's see if we can refresh some ammo. Within luck, this guy has like 500 microfusion cells. 60. Hey, this guy has 500 microfusion cells and some beam gatling too, but don't care about that. Okay, so 70 for you. No, actually, 77 for you. No, wait. 76 for you, right? No. Never mind. Uh, 54 for you. Wait, what? How do you exceed the limits? So 10 of them is one weight. If you give five, uh, five doesn't increase by one, but. Six also doesn't. Nine does. Eight. Seven. Okay, I can exceed by seven. So point seven is considered okay. Uh, so thirty-eight, forty-five to you. Seven. Uh, Sixty-three, seventy to you. 48, 55 to you. Okay, so that's maximized. And we drop something like 53. Alright, maximized ammo. Now we gotta disable these weights. Why are you heavy? What? Oh! Never mind. We are over by 200. Looks scientific, he says. Last one. Power has been restored to the transport system. It is time to move to the elevator and enter the calculator's main lair. All right, uh, sniper, come on, sniper. Can we finally get it? Yes, you have mastered the firearm as a source of pain. With this perk, any successful hit in combat with a ranged weapon will be upgraded to a critical hit if you also make a luck roll. 
We've been working towards this... This amazing feat. I think only Mitral will be able to get it though. Upgrade complete. Exactly. Um no sharpshooter. Oh you are blind, wait. Still no sharpshooter. No more criticals, no better criticals. Could go faster healing, could go... He already picked up die hard. Could go here and now, honestly. Mutate. We don't have traits, so what happens if I pick mutates? I don't have any traits to switch. Is it wasted or do I get to pick up a trait, I wonder? We could test it out. Let's just test it out. Pick new trait. We can pick a trait. Okay. Honestly, fast shot is not bad. I don't do aim shots anyway. We can use only 3 AP to shoot this amazing weapon. That's not bad at all. We'll go fast shot. Lose a trait? Done. Uh, done. Cancel. Okay. We cancelled losing a trait. We got fast shots. Cool. I can do the same for Stitch. Remove good natured. Or maybe I just pick perception. Oh, I already gained perception. I can only do it once. Could go medic. Eh, not really though. Could gain agility. Could gain endurance. Do I care to do those? I guess I can replace good natured with so if I replace good natured uh, with something like fast shot first of all I will gain weapon skills I will lose first aid and doctor but who cares right at this point they are already very high and I will also gain um, like reduce the shooting AP cost to 4 that's that's actually a good idea. Fast shot. Okay. There we go. It's done. Bonus range damage. That's definitely good. Oh, I can take sniper with Rebecca as well. Wow. Can I take sniper with you as well? No. I cannot. Why not? Because your perception is 7. That's why. I think you need 8 perception. Well, you could get more criticals. Bonus range damage. Dodger? She still doesn't have Dodger.
She has finesse. What is finesse again? You don't do as much damage, you cause more critical hits. Already dealing a lot of critical hits. Let's go with bonus range damage, I guess. So does every character have over 200 except this one? Every character has over 200 energy buttons. I think this may be the final level that we get. I don't know if we can get another level in the last mission. We may be able to. I also don't know if final mission is just a boss battle or more than that. Probably there will be more on our way there. Can we talk to Paladin Maximus? Is it just trading? Yes. Well, dang! Right, so no map, we don't have a map, oh wait, this it's just, it's one big room, another big room, it's just two big rooms, is it just a fight? Three, three, one, four, two. If it's just a fight and this takes like fifteen minutes and game is over. It will be a short stream. I was ready to go like 8-9 hours today to finish the game. But it, 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 may, it may be the final 15 minutes or so chat. I absolutely have no idea what the rest of this mission is. But it doesn't look like a big map. And we know this is the final boss. So uh, if you still want to vote or change your votes or boost or whatever. Uh, we may be close to the end of this stream right here. That's far enough, warrior. Can you recognize me now? Yeah, Even you're a barnacle. You're a general barnacle. You've come barnicky, a long right? way since my departure, but you haven't come far enough. The Brotherhood has caused many setbacks for us recently, but that's all they are—just setbacks. You cannot stop the future, just as you can't stop falling rain from reaching the ground. The Calculator offers humanity a world of order and peace. 
A world free of war, of mutants and chaos. The Brotherhood would be wise to realize that their cause has been tainted by misdirection and genetic mutation. But they can still save themselves if they stop trying to prevent the unavoidable. However, you are too close to my new master and salvation to be allowed to continue. I salute you, warrior. But this is where your mission ends. Dude, how can I take you seriously with a face like that? You look like a silly light bulb. Your efforts are for naught. I am too powerful in my new form. You seem to be lying on the your face, though. The calculator was logical to enlist me into its I'm service. Too far my knowledge my of the form. Brotherhood's internal and external workings ensured us time and space to complete many of our objectives. While you have disrupted a fair amount of these plans, rest assured, you are here now only because the calculator arranged it so. Now, let's finish this. Uh huh. Ah, okay, we died. Well, maybe. Maybe maybe we don't do it like this. Not, not quite like this. Maybe we do it like this. Did I add a reload? Warrior. Uh -huh. Hey Claiborne. That's our Lee Army. Your efforts are for nothing. Yeah, yeah. How are you, Claiborne? Good to see you. Oh, whoa, whoa, what was that? Barnaki is dead? Okay. I was hoping we could save General Barnaki. Didn't happen. I'm not really sad. Didn't care that much. Oh, that's a good idea, actually. Join. Die. Join. Die. <laughs> okay, now I can place them as I wanted before. Oh! Cheeky bugger. Alright, let's heal up. There's a way to not kill him, you don't remember how. Maybe you had to bring his wife's liquid necklace. 
Uh, ah, you are right. We had this dog tag. Dog, not dog tag, a locket with um, his wife's picture in it. I got rid of the stuff. Ah, oh, <laughs> that's so cool. I wish I kept it. I don't know why I sold it. I, it doesn't even get me any money. I just sold it along with everything else. Ah, oh, well. It would be cool to see what kind of dialogue he had. That's okay, though. You know, I didn't like him anyway, so maybe this is for the better. Yeah. Cool. Cool to know, though. That's how... I don't sell everything. I just... Sell a lot. But you cannot be a hoarder in this game. The inventory limitations are harsh. You cannot be a hoarder in any Fallout. I mean, obviously you can hoard them in some other container, but not on your person. And you don't have access to those containers during missions. But I should have kept that. You are, you are right, it's my mistake. I should have kept that because it clearly was a special item. I don't know why I sold it. It's not like me to sell items like that. I guess, you know, I, you know what, I, I know why I sold it. I thought, this is Fallout Tactics, it's just an item, it won't make any difference. This game doesn't have sequences like that, you know. It's so very light on role-playing and storytelling. I assumed it was just trash. I know, I know. I gave too little credit to this game, which it usually deserves when it comes to stuff like that. Like, there isn't much of a story, there aren't any interesting twists or anything, uh, different item interactions, you know, alternate ways to solve encounters. It's just, you know, rush and kill stuff. That's how this game operates, and I, I don't think much of it. And that's because 99% of the game, there are no such cases. But still, it's it was on me. Get the empty cup from the first mission. I don't think I finished the game. <laughs> the calculator is unhurt. Game designer brain, evangelist brain, porn star brain, lawyer brain, doctor brain. Where is the island of doctor brain, though? Ah. Well, okay, uh, so calculator, let me make a calculator save here, what did I just type, calculator? They are called Brian, yes, porn star Brian, lawyer Brian. Intruder alert. 
Intruder alert. Countermeasures activated. Defense systems engaged. So I'm not fully certain what we need to do. Uh, we probably have to... Warning! Warning! Intruder alert! Intruder alert! Yeah. We probably have to go in through... These rooms and find a way to... Unless we can just break these. But I... Why would there be... These rooms? If you could just destroy them. Let, let's go in. Let's take a look around, you know. It's locked. Does nothing. Does nothing. Okay, we cannot open these doors. Wait, unless... This is something good. Yeah. That does nothing. Why are you aim shutting? Okay, uh, so uh, another possibility is we destroy a brain, one of these doors open and we are attacked by lots of enemies. If we cannot open them ourselves, they, they probably do open. Um, I guess fighting here would be the worst choice. So we could do something. Let's assume this one will open. Uh, let me place. Let's destroy the game designer brain first. Okay, the doors didn't open. Wait, can I do something else? Like science stuff? Does nothing. Doors opening. <laughs> Are you playing worms? Okay, we it, one door open. Thespian voice back, best voice back. Uh. Okay, I thought the doors would close around me. is a ghost weapon.
Oh, come on. Didn't you die? Okay, we need to kill that one. Okay, it's dead. It doesn't work like stack. If you get to the end, it's just mega play max. Does the game have cover mechanic? Not really. I mean, it kinda does. Like, um, according to the um, height of the cover, you may avoid line of sight, but it doesn't give you armor or anything. Like, you may be able to shoot through this barrier. If you crouch, you lose your line of sight. Uh, but that's about it. It doesn't lower the chance to hit, etc. So it's not that good of a cover system. Uh, let, let's check what you actually have. Gauss rifle. Artist brain. All right. I, I screwed up my formation. We gotta do it again. Not of all, all our characters are shooting. Ah, okay, Tazen. Hope you get some good rest. Hope you get some good sleep. Hope to see you tomorrow as well. Have a good night. Another dead. Another dead. That's also dead. Oh, there's one more. That correction. There was one more. Well, I probably don't need the rest of my group. Scientist brain. Stop! Such actions have severely weakened the covalent bonds of my gray matter. Can I actually stop? Coolant purity is essential within the reactor's primary system. I, I guess I can I don't really have anything to do but destroy these brains, right?
Did they really love that joke so much that they... They actually stopped the game to show it. Since there is nothing you can do but destroy it anyway. I think the weakest part of this game is its humor, honestly. Writing in general isn't very good, but humor is just pretty bad. Okay, now this one. Thanks, dude. down I'm sure there are some more here one more truth here probably that we cannot see just now This one died? No, this one died. Truth died. Oh, Baldur's Gate 3 receiving an extra vote. That doesn't change the result though. Kill this one. Yeah. So what did this guy have? Fully bandaged. Hmm. What brain is this? Politician brain. Really? Well, this will be the most fun to destroy. Alright, let's fully heal in case we have to fight the calculator. Let's heal everyone with Dr. Spags. For some reason. <laughs> exactly. And so much more. Okay. 
Now we are fully healed. Um, I don't know if there is a fight against Calculator, but we are going to get in the formation. Just in case there is. Greetings. I am the Calculator, overseer of the Vault Network. You have proven to be a statistical anomaly that crashed my logistics programs time and time again. It is my admiration of your adaptation and ingenuity that brings you to me. I assume that you would agree that ten behemoth robots would terminate you and your squad. Oh, no, I, don't I have so. the resources to make such an offensive, but it is not in my interest. After all, you are quite the remarkable human, and more importantly, you have something I need. Yeah. What do I have? I wonder. You know, send me 100 behemoth robots. He says, how can you still talk when I destroyed all your brains? Empty cup! Oh no! We won't be able to finish the game now. <sighs> I should have never it dropped it. It is the organic it. portion of my mainframe that has become corrupted. The degeneration of my symbiotic brains has corrupted 85% of main protocol programming. It would take only one brain to bring my organic subsystems back online, but finding a feasible brain has become a problem. I would use a brain from one of Vault Zero's residents, but I compute that my CPU would only become less efficient. Okay, I see where this is going. However, there is another solution. Yours is a brain that can bring balance to my organic neuro network. I am offering you what humans call a dream come true. You can shed your mortal shell and what, join What year was Deusex? You will share my power and resources to save humanity and restore civilization from the smoking ruins of the wasteland. Deusex was 2001 as well, right? And be synonymous with the word hero. Actually, now I have to check. It's 2000. <laughs> it's one year before this game. Compare how um, how impressive the dialogue at the end of Deus Ex 1 is and how impressive this is. Even with all the similarities, the feeling. What it's not similar at all. Will you continue to fight me? Destroy me and continue to carve some small, insignificant niche for the Brotherhood? While the Brotherhood may tame a region, they will never have the lasting impact I alone can. The machinery you see before you has the capacity to remove your brain from its mortal vessel. It is in this machine that your journey to save mankind will truly begin. You must hurry, human. My systems cannot function long without a symbiotic brain. I'm going to help you with that. Does, is it even taking damage? I guess we would get a different ending if we donated our brain. I'd like to see that ending as well.
<laughs> yeah, we are going to see the other ending as well, I think. When the acrid smoke clears, nothing remains of the entity known as the Calculator, except burnt wires and broken valves. It is a decisive victory for humanity, for at the crucial point in the raging battle, the robots were stopped dead in their course of destruction. The warrior can only on the lost opportunity that the destruction of such a technological marvel represents. History has shown that even the victors of battle have some regrets, but sometimes one must move forward. The Brotherhood is quick to establish I can try a few Zero things, I think. as its main base of operations. Although much destruction was wrought here, it still represents a massive storehouse of knowledge and technology. The ancient structure becomes the central hub of operations, coordinating between outposts far and near, and reinforcing their supply lines and transport routes across the countryside, ironically mimicking the original purpose of their defeated enemy. Recruitment and education of the no. local tribal and village it's populations not. becomes the all-important mission of the depleted and wounded brotherhood. But the education is not one-sided. After generations of surviving in the harshness of the wastelands, the indigenous people are in tune with the land. They have valuable lessons to teach those immersed solely in technology. Lessons of nature and balance that the Brotherhood had previously neglected. Not all of the wasteland's inhabitants are sharing the same noble purpose. Opportunistic raiders and bandits enjoy the fruits of a recovering, war-torn brotherhood. Patrols are scarce and in smaller numbers than the thieves remember encountering in the past as the brotherhood focuses on consolidating its power base. Several frontier outposts are lost as the brotherhood finds they are fighting a guerrilla war without the support of large numbers. But adversity and hardship are as familiar to the brotherhood as discipline and knowledge and they learn their lessons quickly. With a new power over this region comes a new responsibility. All plans for re-establishing contact with the West are postponed indefinitely. Recruitment begins anew, and the initiate ranks swell. All military efforts are then concentrated on uprooting all outlaw predators in the region, finally making it safe for the Brotherhood and its allies. In time, the Brotherhood once again rules the land. Resources are then allocated to expansion and development. Technology becomes more widespread, with irrigation systems established to make the nuclear-blasted land fertile. Humanity once again starts to prosper. The hero, the warrior of the Brotherhood, now a general, shares the burden and the satisfaction of overseeing civilization's development. The Brotherhood of Steel has come through the trials of this region and emerged scarred, but wiser. It will be decades before a reunion is possible between the old Brotherhood and the new Brotherhood regime. In that time, there are new alliances to be made, new battles to be fought, new victories to be had. But that is a tale for another day. GG's. Nice, this was fun. Hey, Shieldsies, thank you. Thank you, GM Farm. Oh, no credits. Just salute. Thank you, Ash. Thank you, Joker. Thank you, everybody. Thanks for all the GG's. So, uh, chat, I'm going to take a very short break. And uh, I'm going to run the ads in the meanwhile. Then when I'm back, we are going to see if we can find other ways to... Hey Turbo, welcome. We are going to see if there are any alternate optional endings that we can see. 
I don't want to rush it and I really need to take a very short break so it's going to be a re really weird break because I won't stream for much longer after but uh, after the break we are going to try to explore some optional landings if there are some we could take a look at the wiki as well and uh, you know wrap up the game and call the winner of the poll and then we are going to end but I shall be back within uh, like three to four minutes or so and uh, I'm going to run the ads in the meanwhile I appreciate your patience with those and uh, yeah see you in a little bit Go! Oh, yes! We did it. You've got one reflector on both balls. What is that? Grandmaster level grenade throwery. I have secured us a Monday stream of Barbie Horse Adventures. No. Camp. Everyone who wants no to see it. Give me a good old YAI. It's, it's not going to happen, Tazen. Choose another game. I'm not going to play Barbie Horse Adventures right in camp. <laughs> Shoot whatever you want. You know. <laughs> no, come on, I'm not going to play Barbie. Stop. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> Stop wagging. Okay? I'm not playing Barbie. Not happening. Not happening. <laughs> Not happening, okay? Oaks, 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 oaks. New extra Monday stream request. Oh, come on, what? Underscore Voga requested. You're gonna play it and you're gonna like it. Are you serious? All right, all right, all right. Here, take, take some of my hair. Hey, you, you want more? More hair? How about this? Is this better? It's actually annoying. I'll save you! I tried, I tried. Okay, we found the cat. Chat, I, I want you to spam for the cat this one. And for the hamster this one, okay? When we when we do it. Alright, I'm back. Um, the ads are about the end as well, like 30 seconds. So we are going to go ahead and um, boost. A couple of Adam boosts. Mass Effect 3. Diablo 3. Thank you for the boost, Adam. If you have any boosts still to go, these may be your. This might be your final opportunity. But yeah, uh, actually, I didn't mean to hide that. Welcome back, everyone. Um, so uh, I was looking at the Fallout Tactics, I, I just opened the Fallout Tactics endings page to look at it. Uh, it seems there are four different endings. Good reputation, member of the player squad sacrifices their, plane. This, their brain, this is the one I wanted to try out. Poor reputation, member of player squad sacrifices their brain. We don't have poor reputation, we have high reputation. General Barnaki sacrifices his brain. I guess this is out of the question now that we killed Barnaki. Player kills the calculator or allows the calculator to die when timer runs out. So I, I was also going to try to allow the calculator to uh, uh, die. Or, or I guess I didn't know what would happen. I was going to let the timer run out. Apparently it's the same thing as we did, so we are not going to try that. Uh, so we are just going to try sacrificing the brain in that case. That's the only optional ending that we can get. So uh, let's go back here. I also wanted to, uh, to fight me? 
I wanted to try sciencing the calculator, but that does nothing. That's that's something that was on my mind. But yeah, let's let's try descending now. Can't reach. Ooh. Looks better. Mitra looks Neural a little better. Did you see Organic that? Processor hey, ABP, welcome. Complete. Good to see you. Transmitting halt orders to all external Hope units. Doing well. I, we, our merge begins. Did, did you see the troll? The troll game? It destroyed us, removed our brain, and it said, Mitra looks a little better. How are you, ABP? Okay, let's see this ending. We just finished it. We just finished Fallout Tactics. We are exploring different endings now. I mean, this is the only option landing. This is the only different landing we can explore. Alright, this looks different to what we saw. Thank you. Thank you. Looks like the same thing is happening. I don't know. I guess the cutscene is is the same. Yeah, the cutscene is the same, it seems. The warrior purposefully strides into the calculator's brain-removing mechanism. While this union of mind and machine represents an end to the hero's mortal shell, it also promises rebirth with the power and resources essential to rescue civilization from the brink of oblivion. With the mind of the warrior working in conjunction with the ancient machine's sheer processing power, a new and potent calculator thunders into existence. Years of neglected faults and decay are repaired almost instantly, becoming the catalyst for dozens of defunct systems to flash back into full operation. The calculator becomes whole for the first time since its conception. Contact is immediately established with the Brotherhood Elders, and an alliance is formed. Wow! While no longer an opponent, the calculator chooses to not directly serve the Brotherhood. This is a better ending. A delegation of the top Brotherhood Elders departs for Vault Zero to discuss details of the new alliance. They never reach their destination. Brotherhood soldiers and robots alike are dispatched to investigate. However, no traces of the ill-fated expedition were found. The impact on Brotherhood morale was devastating. For every soldier knows, leaders Master? No, define no. rules, and rules shape. The Brotherhood. The calculator quickly integrates with the surviving Brotherhood leaders. Protocol robots infused with knowledge of Brotherhood procedure begin to handle operations in Brotherhood outposts. Behemoth robots are sent to bunkers and allied towns to ease the strain of basic needs like patrols wow. while maintaining a military show of force to keep outlaws at bay. Soon, the Alliance is discarded with all forces now under one computerized leader. The Brotherhood is, once again, reborn. To speed the unification process, discrimination against mutates is outlawed. The nice. new Brotherhood views these creatures as a valuable resource instead of a threat to be eliminated. Old hatreds and fears are soon set aside as humans, ghouls, super mutants, and death claws work together to carry out the wow, this is the best ending for transforming the wastelands into a post-nuclear utopia. 
the new regime begins to expand across the wasteland, absorbing towns and villages, and quickly dispatching those that would halt progress. Soon, the Brotherhood is protector to a string of settlements with entire regions under its influence. As the calculator's power grows, so does its hold on the continent, but one question remains. What will happen when this new force encounters the original knowledge-hoarding Brotherhood of Steel? In the depths of Vault Zero, the calculator processes millions of possible scenarios in preparation for the inevitable meeting. It will not be as easy to eliminate the original West Coast Brotherhood elders, but it must be done. For in the end, there can only be one leader. One that is willing to sacrifice True. anything or anyone to unify the wasteland. Yeah, and that's us. Okay, maybe it is a little bit of a tyranny, but a benevolent tyranny, so I still think this is a better ending than the other one. Yeah, I guess if we could save General Barnaki and if we could use his brain, if he sacrificed himself to merge with Calculator, maybe he would be xenophobic against the ghouls and mutants. So now there is peace between different races. But if, if it was up to General Barnaki and his brain, I guess they would be called probably. I think this is the best ending in this game. I don't know. At least for the common people. Broad tyranny. Depends on the tyranny. You know? Depends on the kind of tyranny. But yeah, we finished the game. Very cool. Tony Very 68K nice. just boosted Eye of Beholder. We can now exit this. Tony 68K just boosted Mass Effect 3. Tony 68K just tooted Fallout 3. Let's do Tony boosts and then we are going to announce the winner of the next Critical Hits game that we are starting on Friday. Thank you, Parrot. Yeah, Adam, I, I had a great time as well. I have to behold the Mass Effect 3 and Fallout 3. Thank you for the boosts, Tony. And uh, of course, unless something changed during my break. Yeah. Oh, and Terra lost one vote. <laughs> and Terra lost one vote, but this is the final uh, tally. And Betrayal and Terra wins against Torman, Torment with one vote, and the others are following a little farther behind. It typically gets a bad rap. It does look really good. How did you feel about it? Um, it definitely has its problems. You know, the writing isn't good. Whee! I think it's not overly interesting. Um, but, you know, it it's, doesn't feel much like Fallout 1 or 2. That is, the I think, three big reasons uh, that this game gets a bad rap. But if you don't consider this a continuation of Fallout 1 and 2, if you consider it a game on its own, I think it's a lot of fun. I had a good time playing it, even with some of its problems with pathfinding, characters acting stupidly, the AI was, you know, not very good. There were too many small problems to count, but even with all of it, I, I had a good time. I I enjoyed the game for certain. It's a fun game, but you shouldn't think you are playing another Fallout game like Fallout 3 or something. It's completely different. And you shouldn't worry too much about the writing either. <laughs> it's, it's fun to play. It's not amazing or anything though. So yeah, uh, Antara wins, which means uh, this goes away. Uh, what did we play? Fallout Tactics. Fallout Tactics has been finished today after 40 hours. I'm going to deduct 7 minutes from that. So I'm going to just say 40 hours because we accidentally left it open for seven minutes three and four minutes on two different occasions i'm going to fix that later so 40 hours for fallout tactics and now betrayal in antera becomes game number 37 i think and we are going to start that uh, on friday the 28th uh, it becomes 
a current un completed gets removed from here and gets added here all right Michel and Terra, uh, Friday. Very exciting, very cool. It will be the first game I play with a virtual box. I have always been able to somehow run games using various tools on my Windows 10 machine. This one causes out a problem. So we installed the Windows 95 virtual box. We are going to play uh, on a virtual machine. That's what you hear. Not to think about it like a Fallout game. Part. Yeah, exactly. It's different. Thank you, Air. Your swing world, yeah, your swing world changed things around for sure. So Betrayal and Terra, very cool. Let me let me fix these as well, since we are fixing things right now. There we go, Betrayal and Terra next game. But of course, before Betrayal and Terra, tomorrow we are going to take a look at the council, and um, on Tuesday we are going to start the Ponya series. It will be very interesting, very cool, and the. The new top four for now is uh, Axe Fatalis, Baldur's Gate 3, Torment and Fallout 3. But as I said, Fallout 3, Deus Ex 2, Diablo 3, Undertale, Mass Effect 3, even Pathfinder. These are all very, relatively very close to each other. So uh, maybe, maybe not these, you know, but these three. I'm going to be starting the poll for Betrayal and Terra. Uh, Am I co-streaming to YouTube now also? Me? No. No, I'm not. I don't have the bandwidth for that. Uh, I'm not exactly sure when I will start the poll, but I may start the poll um, either next Friday, the first day of the stream, like after the first day of the stream, or on Sunday, uh, at the end of the first week of the stream. Uh, but... In, in those few days, you know, tomorrow, Tuesday, Wednesday, next Friday, and possibly Saturday and Sunday, there is like a week of boosting, and that is going to decide on the fourth place. I don't think these can be shaken off their places in the next, before the next poll, but, you know, your votes will determine what the fourth will be. So, I think, I think... This is where I end. I think I end early. I was, as I said, I was ready to go late today to finish this game, but especially the final mission was very short. And I think the final few missions felt easy after we got our power armors and energy weapons. Honestly, we were just wrecking the robots. It felt good. So the YouTube logo in my critical list. Oh, uh, those are just, um, you know, links links for the for my words i i keep i keep archives of all my words on youtube but i don't stream there and those are just links to the playlists and stuff um uh, anyway yeah thanks for joining me i i guess we'll find someone to rate i hope you had a good time with the game i definitely did and i, I hope you did as well i hope you enjoyed it but yeah, let's find someone to raid. Where should we go? Where should we go? Thank you, thank you everybody. Parrot, Dude, Tony, Ash. Everybody else who were here, who are here, I appreciate all of you. Where should we go? We could raid Woofs, we could raid Yerozi. I raided Yerozi not too long ago. Good night, Clay. Good night. Clay is streaming, we could raid him, but I raided him like four days ago <laughs> Stevie just raided two days ago Mr. Wise we could go say hi to Mr. Wise possibly he doesn't seem to be enjoying Siberia for them we could go say hi to her Xena. so many cool streamers uh, is anyone playing Polar Tactics though?
Yeah, I'm glad you were able to stop by, ABP. It's a pleasure to see you. Okay, no one else is playing. You know, we could go say hi to Biffy. Or Bogu. Okay, which one did I raid longer ago? Bogu has been 44 days, Biffy. Oh, only 23 days or something like that. Yeah, we'll, I guess we will raid Bogu. What is Bogu playing? Baldur's Gate. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go say hi to Bogu. No worries, Viru. I hope you enjoyed your dinner. Alright, uh, let's go and say hi to Bogu. He's playing Baldur Skate, starting a new character in Baldur Skate 1 right now. Well, not starting a new character, but still on Baldur Skate 1, it seems. He does these very high difficulty challenge Baldur Skate runs. And um, yeah, let's go there, say hi. Enjoy some of his stream. Thanks for joining me. I hope you had a good time. I definitely did. Uh, Zul, thank you so much for the raid. Ale, thank you so much for the resub. And uh, everyone else, thank you so much for being here, chatting and lurking, watching, listening, uh, just being here. I appreciate all of you. As I said, I shall be back tomorrow. We are going to take a look at the council. As picked, we were picked by JFC Fuller. So if you don't like the game, take your complaints to Fuller. But uh, yeah, we are going to be playing the council today uh, tomorrow and uh, on tuesday we are going to start the deploy series which is very interesting hope to see you in those streams or whenever else you can come back until then take care of yourselves and be well and goodbye for now <laughs>